think about an animated movie, this one is about 74 minutes long. That's less than the first act of the stage show. Adapting it to the stage meant expanding the story. The fun part for me was how do you create the image of the savannah. I love finding highly theatrical means to create a naturalistic landscape. The biggest challenge in putting The Lion King together was for the audience to accept that the people they're seeing on stage are representing animals. I don't need all that fur. I don't need literal paws. You know, just the mask and a tail, and then let the actor suggest the movement of the shoulders moving forward. You get the strength. He doesn't have to be on all fours doing that. In the movie, of course, it's beautiful to look at. It's exquisitely animated, and the designs are gorgeous. But what you also have are those fantastic songs by Elton John and Tim Rice, and that beautiful underscore by Hans Zimmer, and the fantastic song choral African material that Lebo M and Mark Mancina shaped. On the stage, we expand all that music. We add more of it. The story, the animal kingdom, the uh, music, all the inspiration for the masks and puppets comes from Africa and musically South Africa. In the theater, you can use lots of different techniques to represent something. But the most important technique you need is the imagination of your audience. Children and adults alike suspend their disbelief knowing that it is theater, that we're not really in a savanna, that we're not really in a jungle, and they go with you. When they see a man with a fantastic mask over his head, and they say, oh, he's a lion, then the audience is on the journey with the theater maker, and that's the best kind of theater.